Hi everyone, it's Lourdes Galang of WorkingMomsJourney.com and OFWBusinessIdeas.com. So in today's video, I'll show you how I install WordPress using Bluehost. So since Bluehost ang ginagamit ko for my web hosting services, ipapakita ko sa inyo ngayon kung paano ko ini-install yung WordPress sa mga websites na kinecreate ko. So makikita niyo kung gano'n ng kadali na mag-install ng WordPress sa loob mismo ng Bluehost and then from there, makakapag-create na ka ng panibagong website na gusto kong gawin. Okay, so first and foremost, syempre kailangan natin mag-login sa aking account with Bluehost. So just click login. Okay, so naka-save na yung aking username and password or yung domain name and password ko using LastPass. So ayan, click na lang natin yung login. Okay, so once na pag login na tayo, so eto yung makikita nyo sa loob ng inyong Bluehost account. Okay, so... Ang pupuntahan natin ay yung sa website portion. So, eto, itong portion na to. And makikita nyo dito yung install WordPress. Ayan. So, ikiklik lang natin itong install WordPress. So, mapupunta tayo sa Mojo Marketplace. Parang eto yung marketplace na connected with uh, Bluehost. Kasi pwede kang pumili ng kung ano-ano mga WordPress themes sa gusto mong gamitin. Lalo na kapag wala kang ka-idea sa pag-create ng website using HTML or talaga from the scratch. Sobrang helpful na bumili ka na lang ng WordPress theme tapos install mo na lang siya tapos parang i-edit-edit mo na lang konti. So, makikita nyo yan doon sa isang video ko on how, you know, to create a website, a really good good, you know, stunning website na akala mo professional lang gumawa by using WordPress themes. Yung mga, bagay mga available na na themes na drag and drop na lang. Okay, so once na nasa mojo marketplace.com ka na, so you have to select domain for installation. So, yan yung gagawin mo. So, from this drop-down list, makikita mo lahat ng mga domains na available kung saan pwede mo install yung WordPress. So, for now, mag install tayo ng WordPress sa itworksphilippines.info. So, ito yung bagong domain or website na gusto kong i-create. And then, just click next. So, medyo babaguhin mo lang syempre mga information kagaya ng sa site name. So, ilalagay ko kung ano yung site name na, na gusto ko para sa website na to, which is It Works Philippines. So, ito kasi yung bagong business. Not actually bago. Kasi matagal na ako nag-join sa business na to. It's a direct selling company in the US and they've just launched last May 29 here in the Philippines. But it's been it's been existing in the US, UK, and ano, all other European countries pa for like, I don't know, 12 years now, more than 12 years na itong business na to. So, I joined them, I think, year 2012 or 2014. I can't really remember. But yeah, I've used their products and their products are really amazing. Okay, so I'll put the email address that I want to use for this website. Yan yung admin email address. Kumbaga, um, admin email address ng website. So, syempre, kailangan nyo din ilagay yung admin username na gusto ninyo. Kasi yun yung gagamitin nyo na username. Every time na mag-login ka dun sa back office account mo, dun sa, ano, sa WordPress, ng website na kinecreate mo. And then, yung admin password din. So, so syempre, dapat ilagay mo yung password na matatandaan mo as an admin. So, makikita nyo yan mamaya kapag nag-login tayo. Pag na-install na to dun sa domain name na ating... Uh, gagawa ng website. So, i-click lang natin yung next. Okay, so, naka-automatic check naman na itong tatlong boxes na to. So, kailangan naka-check lahat to kasi this one, um, it means that you're agreeing na mag-automatically create siya ng new database for this installation. And then, this one, uh, you understand that installing the same domain will overwrite any files and I have read the terms of service. So, just leave it, ano, checked. And then, click next. So, yan, preparing for installation na. So, ganun lang kadali. Um, aantayin mo lang na mag-install yung WordPress. And then, kapag na-install na siya, as you can see here, may nakalagay naman yung progress niya. 45% na. Tapos, ayan. 
So, yung domain name, hosting, WordPress installation, and everything. Tapos, yun nga yung sinasabi ko kanina yung WordPress theme at sya yung pagkakustomize ng site mo. So, that's on a different video. Yung pag install ng theme ko meron ka nang nabili. Okay, so, ayan. Installation complete. Makikita nyo naman dito. Um, and then, if you click this one, ayan, view credentials here. So, nakareceive na ako ng email from Bluehost Marketplace. So, instructions lang naman yan kung ano yung mga gagawin mo na after mo install yung WordPress. So, as you can see here, ayan, your installation was successful. Tapos, nandito na yung installation details. So, kung ano yung domain na, na pinag-installan mo ng WordPress, and at the same time, kung ano yung username at saka yung password na inilagay mo kanina. Diba, nakita nyo kanina, in-input ko kung ano yung username at password na gusto kong gamitin. And if you can see here, ito yung mga sasabi ko na WordPress themes na available or if you need help para ma-install yung WordPress. Kasi, you know, if, if this is your first time, baka na-overwhelm ka pa dun sa mga steps na kailangan mong gawin para makapag-create ka ng website using WordPress. So, you could actually, you know, avail of this one. But that's $199. So, mga... 10,000 din yan, di ba? So, ayan. Kumbaga, parang isi-set up yung WordPress theme na mapipili mo. But, as I've said, you could also, you know, choose any WordPress themes for $49. And then, pwede ikaw na yung mag-install nun. Or, if you need help, you know, you could just contact us and we can help you set it up as well for you. But, syempre, merong service fee for that. Kumbaga, may mga packages kami na available for web design if you're planning to put up your own uh, website or e-commerce store or business website. So, you could contact us, okay? We can help you with it. Now, let's go and log in to our new website. So, ito yung bagong website that I can create ko ngayon. And I'm very excited kasi this will be my website that I will be using to promote my business with it work. So, if you're also interested pala to um, have a direct selling business or magkaroon ng extra income, sideline business. So, you can join me with ItWorks. Kaka-launch lang yun dito sa Pilipinas. So, pagka-click natin ng itworksphilippines.info, ayan, ito yung bubungad sa atin. So, ito yung wordpress.org. Okay, pag ito yung ginamit mo, tapos kumuha ka ng sarili mong web hosting service, um, like Bluehost nga na ginagamit ko. Tapos, pag ininstall na natin yung WordPress, so, mapupunta ka sa page na to to log in para sa pinaka-back office sa website mo na i-create mo. So, ayan. As you can see here, yung username or email address ay hinihingit, tsaka yung password. Di ba, nag-nominate ako kanina ng username. So, itatype ko ngayon dyan. And then, yung password na ginawa ko din. So, ayan. And then, click natin yung log in. Okay. So, pagka-login mo ngayon, mapupunta ka na dito sa uh, parang back office mo na ito dun sa WordPress. So, ayan, nakikita nyo yung Bluehost nandyan. And then, ito yung loob. Ito yung loob ng isang website na WordPress ang ginagamit mo na platform. As you can see here, ayan, WordPress. Pag clinic mo yan, mapupunta ka sa WordPress.org. So, yan po yung difference ng WordPress.com sa WordPress.org. Okay, so, pakita ko lang ha. Ito si WordPress.com. Si WordPress.com, pwede ka mag-create ng website dito without actually having a web hosting service kasi you will just carry out the name. So, ayan, um, you could build a website by clicking the Get Started button and then, pag napunta ka dito, mag-nominate ka lang ng... Um, okay. So, mag-create ka lang ng account mo dito. Susundan mo lang yung steps na yan. Pero with WordPress.org, okay, for you to be able to to create a website using WordPress.org, kailangan meron kang sariling web hosting service, which is yung ginawa natin kanina. Okay. okay so, for you to be able to use WordPress.org, ayan, as you can see here, kailangan nyo ng WordPress hosting. And nakita nyo naman, recommended talaga ang Bluehost when it comes to uh, hosting, you know, your WordPress website. Kaya ako, Bluehost din talaga yung gamit ko ever since I've uh, been using it for, I don't know, more than 8 years or 9 years na yata ang Bluehost. And so far, sobrang smooth lang palagi ng 
pag-create ka ng website. And, alam mo yung, ang pinaka-importante kasi when, you, when you're choosing, you know, the web hosting service is yung nagpa-function siya, uh, I mean, most of the time. Kasi may mga iba nagkakar ng internal server error or laging parang may downtime, may maintenance, etc. So, syempre, yung website mo pag ganun, parang sarado din yung tindahan mo or sarado din yung online business mo. Pag nag-fail yung web hosting service mo, so ibig sabihin, para nakasara din yung store mo, hindi mo puntahan ng mga customers mo or ng mga prospects mo, clients mo, whatsoever, di ba? So, importante rin yun. So, ako talaga, if you're planning to put up a website first time mo or kung naman problema ka sa web hosting service mo, then try Bluehost. Ayan, so let's go back dun sa loob ng ating WordPress website. So, ito yung itworksphilippines.info. Ngayon, kapag tinipe mo na ngayon yung itworksphilippines.info, since na-install na natin si... Okay, since na-install na natin si WordPress, at hindi ko pa naman nila launch yung page kasi nga, aayusin ko pa dun sa, ano, dun sa loob, okay? So, i-open natin siya sa ibang browser kasi nakalogin ako eh. So, ayan, di ba nakikita nyo? Welcome to WordPress. So, i-type natin dito sa Safari, tapos makikita natin kung anong itsura niya. Kapag, kunyari, visitor ako, ah, hindi ako nakalogin or yan. So, nakikita niyo, a new WordPress site coming soon, di ba? So, kung mag-login ako, um, so, pwede akong mag-login from here, kung alam ko. Pag click ko yung admin login, mapupunta tayo dito sa part na kung saan pwede mag-login ng isang administrator ng website. So, ganun din naman kasi cure yung WordPress website. Kung hindi naman ikaw talaga yung admin, hindi mo alam yung username siya ka-password, then hindi ka makakapasok dun sa mismong website. Okay. So, back to It Works Philippines. So, ayan. Hanggat hindi ko pa siya nila-launch kasi kung nakikita nyo dito, nakalagay coming soon active. So, hindi ko pa siya nila-launch kasi aayusin ko pa yung website. So, pag naayos ko na yung website, na lagyan ko na ng mga information, details, and all that, then saka ako ikiklik tong launch your site para maging, work, maging working website na siya, maging active na siya. Okay, so for now, kanya lang muna siya. Coming soon pa lang siya. So, ito yung makikita. So, ikaw, pag pumunta ka ngayon sa itworksphilippines.info, ito yung makikita mo. And makikita mo dito, it's a Bluehost-powered website, ba diba? Meaning to say, yung website na to, ang web hosting na ginagamit ay Bluehost. Parang siya yung nag-house ng, mag house ng lahat ng files, ng lahat ng mga information or details or storage, everything para umantar at gumana tong website na to. So, ganyan lang po kadali na mag-install ng WordPress, okay, sa website na gagamitin mo using Bluehost. So, kapag Bluehost ang iyong piniling web hosting services, then, kung ano yung step na pinakita ko kanina, for you to install WordPress, ganun na kadali. ba? Diba? In less than what? Like, 5 minutes, ma-install mo na si WordPress dun sa website na gusto mong gawin. So, that's it for now. I hope that you learned something uh, with our video for today. So, just watch the other videos on how you can create, you know, a beautiful, stunning website, whether for personal or for business. And also watch the other videos that I have created teaching you how to put up your own online store using WooCommerce. So, WordPress.org pa ng gamit natin. And as you can see here, WooCommerce ang pwede natin gamitin para makapagput up ng online store and, you know, sell products on your own websites. Okay, so... Thank you for watching this video. If you have any concerns or questions or inquiries, then just contact us on the details that is showing in your screen right now. And if you need help or if you want to put up your own website and you, you know, you want someone to do it for you, then you could actually contact us because we can, you know, we can design your website, we can create your website or set it up for you. Okay, so thank you for watching and see you in my next videos. Bye! Thank you for watching our videos and please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions, you can send us an email and don't forget to visit our website ofwbusinessideas.com for more of the business ideas. You can follow us on Instagram and also like us on our Facebook page. And